Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to add subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. If you don't have any of this stuff, check for a tutorial a little earlier because this is a new way of doing it with the new updates. So first things first, you'll see that what we've done here is we've actually created this sort of little segment um, where we can manipulate this and add as much captions or as little captions as we want later on. So let's get started on the tutorial by first deleting this track. So we're back to just importing a single piece of footage. This piece of footage I grabbed from Envato Elements, which is a great subscription-based service. You pay a monthly fee and you get an unlimited amount of stock footage, photos, templates. Check out the link in the description below. Once imported, we need to go up to Captions and Graphics. If you don't see that, go up to Windows Workspaces, down to Caption and Graphics right here. Uh, and if for some reason there's some wonkiness going on with your uh, the, the view, go down to Reset Saved Layout, and we should be at the same point. Now we need to find a place where we'd actually like to add some captions. So I'd, I'd, I'm going to go to right about two. We're going to go down to Create New Caption Track. We want to make sure the format is subtitled. These are all for actual like closed captions. In this particular instance, we're actually creating a subtitle, so that's what we want. I'm going to choose Style Large. You probably won't have styles here. I'll show you how to create those later. Click OK. Now we're ready to add our first caption. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the plus button right here. And you're going to see we get this immediately. I'm going to paste in my other text here so you don't have to watch me type. And you'll see that it immediately puts it out. And it looks like it's defaulting to about three seconds. So we can drag this through. And if we think that's too short or too fast, like for example, we want it to change over right as they're jumping through, we drag this back. And now it'll turn off at that point. We can then click plus to add a new caption. Um, they are often used in extreme sports to do stunts something like that you'll see that it now changes over at that exact moment and the subtitles are baked in what if you'd like to edit your subtitles so once we have them written if you click on the subtitle right here and you have the central graphics open on the right which is why the workspace does that you can then edit all of the text features you'll see that we have different zones here so we can put the text into different areas that we'd like the basic is the bottom portion of the zone the bottom middle here if you'd like to move it more uh finitely or like you know by a little bit you can go right here um, and move them by pixels up down left right etc um, you'll notice that they always stay at zero depending on your zone and then you manipulate from said zone we can then go down and affect the fill the stroke the background for example if you added a background it would add a little bit of a uh basically like an edge to it this allows for example if there's no real good place to put the captions. There's, for example, on the white sky up there, you won't be able to see it very well without this white background. Actually, it looks pretty good, but if we turn the shadow off and everything, it disappears. So we could add shadow, background, and now you can clearly read the text here. What if you wanted, for example, all of your text to have this? Well, you can see that, see how these two are different right here? That's because they are all in a different style. So if you want them all to be on the exact same style, what you can do is you can actually go to this one and we're going to go create a new style. We're going to say background white, save it like that. And then now you'll notice that the track style is now set to background white. So all of these are going to now be using background white. So if you make one tiny change, you can also change the rest of them. So for example, I see that this box is cutting off right here. Let's go ahead and make the box a little bigger so that it doesn't take over uh, the text and it, it gives a little bit more room here. Now the problem is the top one still doesn't have this box on it. So we go here, we can then create a new style and save it, but that would be a lot. So we can actually just go ahead and uh, push this up. So it's gonna push that tr uh, style up and it's gonna change all of them. And you'll see now they all have that. So you don't wanna create a style every time. That's why this button is right here. Push to track, you make some changes, push it up make sure it goes. If the changes for some reason didn't come down, sync the track, it'll sync the new styling. So a little complex, but in the end, that is how the styles work. And they're very great because if you had like 500 of these, you don't wanna have to apply to all of them all the time. It would be a lot. So now that we have this going, that's pretty much how you create it. You just, from this point on, keep creating more. Um, shorten, lengthen, put any of the text that you want in, and you have created subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below on our website, adobemasters.net. If you'd like to see more of this one, go to that subscribe button. Until next time, everyone, see ya.